you said it was the Madonna. It was a Madonna. Madonna so Bernadette, yes. when did you meet uh, Randy first, sir? Through Marsha. Really? Through Marsha. She thought she was Ma Cooey was Marsha's dog. Yeah. I, oh. I, for months, and she would say to me, come on, girl, we're going to go sit in the park, or, you know, or why don't you make up, and, you know, you're so bland, you know, she, she, she would sit with me. I loved her. She was yeah. sweet. And we'd sit there with my dog and her dog. It was a different dog I had then. But um, she used to fiddle around with the dog's hair and tie bows and it couldn't have really long. She was, I, I miss her in a, in a lot yeah. of ways. She had a dog that was blind. What? I, I, it's quite, it was a video I missed in life. It was a blind dog and this oh, crazy God, kid he, was walking it. He was, uh, was walking it. Boxer. Like, he was what? Rich back and boxer. Really? He was a wow. rescue. You but know? what was incredible is the dog slept and the kids were very young and the kids used the dog as a pillow. A pillow, yes. No. And I was going to come down so and sweet. interview her about that. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah, Rocky died. Say, I never got it to. done. Oh. Well, he got pancreatic cancer, but when I got him, you know yeah. how cruel people are. I mean, they do it to human oh. children, but they, they left him like he was split from his hip bone down. His leg was split, oh. beaten so badly. And it was New Year's Eve. My son, I have a 42-year-old son, and he called me up. Uh, mom, and I was like, uh oh, you know, something's coming. And I didn't want another dog because I just lost my little Morgan that year. And uh, well, there's this puppy. Okay, so I got in my mind, puppy, you know, <laughs> puppy comes in with the dog across his arms because the cast is now, you know, from oh, the waistline. Wow. Rocky was a mess. I mean, he was beaten. You could count his ribs. Really oh. sad, really horrible. And she likes like triples like I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking, so we have. Talk, talk again and uh, yeah, I had him for nine years actually, wow. and he went blind when he was seven. But he'd wow. had such whoever had him or whatever they did. Yeah. You know, it was the lower part of Jersey City where he was found, oh. and his vet said he was such a sweet animal. He said, "I will pay his bills till the day he leaves you." Who did that? The vet. I remember, I remember that was very interesting. Yeah, wow. and I was like, my God. And I remember sitting in the office and I saw this machine coming in. I had no idea what it was. It was a portable um, <coughs> ultrasound machine. I found out later. And I thought, oh my God, I wish somebody could. That was for my dog, you know? And when. Um, I'm sorry, I get really upset. Oh, but anyway, that. it turned out he sent that to make sure. That yep. there was nothing else could be done. Wow. So pancreatic cancer is just as bad for animals as you. Wow. Mm. You know, I lost Wait. him in seven months. Wow. So, so then uh, next. But you know what happened with, the, with her car? Get, how did you get involved? He's coming out of the elevator, all dude up. Yeah. Because that's when he used to wear his traditional, and he's got little cooey with him with this fancy coat on her, and I'm oh. like, oh my god. Yeah. Everyone commented on the coat. You want a status symbol? Get a fur coat for your dog. Ghetto kids, everyone said, Oh, I wish I had a coat that fancy. I never had such a status symbol. She had this cute little wiggle once you yeah. It was a $60 coat on sale for half price and $30 <laughs> at the pet shop on Christopher Street. It was a little small for her, but it looked very elegant. Wow. Hey, sister, me, how do you know? How do you know Cooey? I said, Well, she's Marsha's dog. He went, She's my dog. Right? That's my cooey. And he sat for a wow. little while that day in the park and we talked. And then another day I saw him like months later and he was upset because she was getting sick. Uh -huh. And he said, if something happens to me, would you take cooey? And I wow. said, why not? You know, she's precious. And then I showed her the Marsha button. Yes. And aren't you the one that told me the story that people walked in and saw Marsha prostate? Was it you or someone else? Was prostate in front of the Virgin statue across the street oh, at St. Yeah. Peter's Church? Yeah, she used to like to go into the church. And she said to and me, And some people went in at issue. 6 in the morning and she was and, prostate yeah, was, on the floor was, in front yeah, of the she, Virgin she statue. Marsha would church. be. She was so, like, it, I don't know, it... it it got her enthusiasm for some yeah. reason, you know. She was, uh, but she had such a heart, and she'd always talk about butterflies and she said to me. My mother was trying to talk me into have like becoming a foster parent. I had lost a baby, and I took it really wow. bad. And she said, she oh, became a foster parent at the age of fifty-seven. She Marcia really, what? she she put the cream on the cake. She was she was telling me about how children are nothing more than butterflies. Oh really? And if you really, yeah. She she said to me, think of how beautiful butterflies are and how short you have them, and you know. Do you, 
and she just kept doing it and doing it. And finally, I said, you know what, Marsha? Okay, you sunk the ship. I signed up, and I, I became, I have two foster children. Wow, how old are your children? One is 24. He kind of puppets around Randy's computer. Right. Yeah. He's got, she got in two years of community college and computer science. Wow. He doesn't have good relationships because he had a seizure, so he has very introverted. He doesn't relate well. Nope. The other kid is 16 years old, head of the soccer team, most popular person in school. No, I mean, well, I don't know. He is. He's, he's obviously, he's if you're elected head of the soccer team. Well, he thinks he is. I don't think, you know, he's he's popular. I mean, he plays varsity and he's a junior. So wow. How old ball, were they when soccer. you... Um, uh, the youngest one was nine, nine days old. Yeah, and wow. He had to do withdrawal, and he had a really hard. Peter had taken a stroke, and he was almost four months old when I got him. And there was damage to the left part of the brain. Was it sickle cell, or what was what caused the stroke? Or uh, no, the mother, well, if you, whatever. She was, was leaning against the wall. He was in a uh, halfway house. She was in for, you know clean her life up or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't sure. condemn her, but, you know, yeah. she uh, stood there in the doorway. What I was told by the caseworker was she was watching him turn blue in the crib, and someone walked uh -oh. by and heard a funny noise, looked in the room, called the woman in charge, rushed him to the hospital, and that's how I got him when he came out of the hospital. But the damage to the left part of the brain, that's the... But Intake. still, because yeah. of her incredible mothering skills, this woman oh, is a no. living saint. No, really. I would, I would, I would give up every dollar I had to have a mother like you. I'm, I'm like you. I just love people. Should wow. I give you a tissue so, to Randall? Huh? Do I need to get you a tissue to No. I mean, no. It really, this is the most inspiring yeah. person no. I've ever known. Wow. I said to her, "What woman in her right mind goes out and adopts <laughs> a kid at the age of 57?" And she says to me, "She says I was working for the county." <laughs> And I thought it would go on forever. Wow. And then she told me these yeah, stories. Got, she was working for the city, and the guy who was running the thing was a real was abusing he was sexually. A he was sexually wow. abusing her, or making very gross, making it very uncomfortable yeah. for her. Yeah. Wow. What he, he put girly cam like you know the calendars with these really explicit. I mean, you know, I, I just and I was much much better built when I was walking normally, and he would always yeah. comment on my body, and you know. And she was literally driven out because it was all like the mechanizations. She's still part of the she's still part of the Italian machine in Hoboken. She was she, her son got two hundred dollars a day working on the election because they're tied in with the old Italian guy who ran third or fourth. Third. Third, okay. Third, yeah, oh. But the food, so the gay guy almost won. I bet you I, do. You do. That's a long day run the on election. I did, it voting, I did it until I did it two months. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah you I started at six in the morning yeah. and you're going to ten at night. Yeah. yeah. I got more at Randy Wicker's lamp shop. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got more from well. serving on jury duty. No, <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> how, Jamie, how did you meet Randy Wicker? Oh um, God. Oh. Here, I uh, met Randy. Well, Randy and I knew each other. Um, uh, through the activist network, um, uh, through sex workers. Uh, so right. I had seen you know, prostitution. I met okay. her in 1992, yes. and believe it or not, she's one of the few women that really turned me on. Made a big impression. <laughs> yeah, right, but Randy, I was that's older your and take younger. Take your story. <laughs> okay, so right. uh, I, I was involved with an organization called Sacred, where we were trying to decriminalize prostitution, not legalized, decriminalized right. prostitution. Okay. Right. And uh, we were organizing a march or rally and Randy found out about it and called me up. And one thing led to another and the next thing I knew it was three hours later and we're still on the phone talking. And um, I had actually known him, you know, around from the activist community, but I really didn't become close to him until um, Sylvia, uh, Sylvia was a very dear friend of mine. 